Friends and viewers, good day. Henri de Balzac, a famous, well-known French writer. He had written uh, many, many and scores of novel and novella uh, like Piri, Corio, and the one famous one which I am going to talk about it is Cousin Beatty. The name of this is Cousin Beatty by Henri de Balzac. So the story of this novel starts like uh, with the moment when Adeline Kulu, a successful baron, Hector Kulu's wife, gets drawn into a scam by a perfumer, Calistin Creevel. His passion started when Baron Kulu won the hand of famous singer Josephine Mira who Krivel was in love with too. Kulu's daughter Hortense is looking for a husband. His son Victor is married to Krivel's daughter Calistine. Madame Kulu rejects Krivel's attention and he steps back. Madame Kulu's cousin Beatty, also called Elizabeth, held in her heart and why to her successful relatives. Peasant woman possessing no beauty compared of her cousin, 42-year-old B.T. has rejected several offers of marriage from man of middle class and is still single. Once B.T. meets a young unlucky sculptor, Wenislav Steinbock, who tried to commit suicide in the room next to her dwellings. She brings him back to life and maternal love affair wakes in her. She also makes friends with Valerie, the wife of a clerk from the war department named Marnif. Two women form some kind of a union of mutual love and protection. Meanwhile, Josephine denies Baron Kulu saying that she has found another man. Baron's desperation gets flat out when he meets Valerie and in and feels in love with her. He bestow her gift and soon settle for Valerie and her husbands. Uh, uh, they work in the same department, a luxury house. These debts together with the money that he bestowed, Josephine threatens the financial security of the Kulus. Being in panic, uh, to he convinces his uncle Johann uh, Fischer to squander quietly the funds allocated to military department of war in Algeria. Kulu's adversaries adversities uh, come to an end for some time, but BT's happiness is broken when Hortensi Kulu marries Wenceslav Steinbock. Being in the turmoil of losing Steinbock, BT promises to revenge the Kulus. Together with Valerie, they secretly try to draw more money from the Baron Kulu. Valerie also seduces Krevel and watches him competing with Baron for her. With Betty's help, Valerie switches on Steinbock and drags him into her bed. When Hortensi finds out about her husband's infidelity, she breaks up with him and returns with her son to live with her mother, Adeline. Valerie also tells her about relationship with the Brazilian Baron Henry Montes de Monitenoche and swears allegiance to each of five men. Baron Skulu's brother, known as Marshall, hires that he has a landlady to his house and an affair begins between them. He learns about his brother's volatility and promises to marry Betty. If she settles everything, she agrees. Studying the behavior of his brother, Marshall learns about Kulu's financial affair with an Algerian company. His indignation has no limits and his health is getting worse. Betty's last hope for a happy future dies among with Marshall. When Valerie gets pregnant, she says each of her lover that he is a father. She gives birth to a dead child and her husband dies soon. Kulu and Caravill are happy to hear the news. Each of them believes that he will be her only love. Valerie chooses Kravil for his potential successful future and they hastily get married. 
News infuriates Baron Montes and he decided to poison the news. newly wet Baron's plan work. Both Valerie and Cravel die in an agony. Their bodies have been mutilated by a rare Brazilian poison. Soon Prince de Wiesenborg visit Victorina Okolu and brings good news. Marshal, before he died, agreed on the payment of all Kolu's debts. Baron Kolu disappear and Adelina finds him in a brothel where he lives with a 15 year old courtesan. He agrees but getting into the carriage asks whether he can take the girl with him. The Kolu's home is reunited and Betty's rage at the sight of their happiness provokes her death. One, one evening after the funeral, Adeline hears Kulu bo, uh, bothering a mate called Agathe. It blows up her health and she slowly dying. On her deathbed, Adeline for the first time reproaches her husband. In a moment you will be free and then you can make another baroness. Kulu. Shortly after Adeline's funeral, Kulu marries Agatha. So... Uh, this is the story of the Cousin Bitti by Henri de Balzac. And uh, Cousin Bitti is a, a narrative of a famous French realist writer, Henri de Balzac, written in 1846. The main theme of this book is the display of disastrous consequences of dependent and humiliating position of a poor relative of a person's character. In Cousin BT, it brings to envoy enormity, irresponsible desire for revenge. Cousin BT appears to be a delicate, elegant piece of literature work where the author managed to open the most dis Geist, secret of woman's soul. The world is rather aggressive and broken heart can be met very often. But this world can be there uh, three times harder for a woman possessing neither cold prudence nor predator skill. Time passes, one apo replaces another, but this story, story stays urgent. The main heroine, Cousin Betty, because of envy and malice, spent all her life harming her beautiful sister by manipulating of her husband's depravity. But the most tragic is that it make her either happier or richer. She has not get, got married and no children and had no success. The world, though she could with her wits, innate artistry and diligence, she could have achieved more. But jealousy made her black into uh, white. So this is the, uh, I had told you about Cousin Bitti by Andre de Balzac and uh, 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 this is a wonderful story, a uh, novel written by uh, Balzac uh, uh, along with uh, uh, Betty Gorio. This is also one of the best uh, novel or uh, you, you can call it a novella also uh, by Henry Balzac. Uh, 